guys welcome back to my channel this video is going up a little late but I worked last night and I didn't get up until five five ish and I had dinner um, and got myself together how's everybody doing I hope everybody in North Carolina is staying safe so far we have some wind and it's been raining um, after I did the pink swag and I should have waited to hang the door banners, but I just couldn't wait. And I wanted to show you what it looked like, but I brought um, my pillows inside and I brought the swag and my door sits kind of back, but because they said Wayne, you know, heavy winds and stuff like that, you know, had to bring the gingies inside. So uh, that's what it is, but welcome back. I hope you guys are doing well. If you're new, I would love for you to subscribe and stick around if you like shopping hauls, if you like a little bit of DIYs. And I just don't go to Dollar Tree. I do go to other stores. Um, stick around and subscribe. And please turn on your notification bells so you are aware when I upload a new video. We had to get the formalities out of the way. So these are some of the new truck day finds. Um, we did not get a big truck. Um, the manager was telling me, she was saying that it was only like 1,600 pieces, and that's a small truck for some of my local stores. And I have six in town, and not everybody gets the same things. Some hot items I only find at one, maybe two locations. Um, and they're expecting a smaller truck this week, so I might have to go on the road. There's a couple of things on my wish list, but we'll see, we'll see, we'll see. So a wish list find that I was hoping are these red candles. I don't care about the scent, but they do come scented. But I love the gold heart detail. And if you look behind me, you'll see two gold candlesticks with a white candle. I wanted a red candle or a Valentine's Day candle. I could even take the gold detail off of this and put on the white candle so i'll see i'll see what happens um but yes yeah, so when i seen these on a post i said i wanted them and it's not the first time that they've given us candles with detail um i seen some candles that i don't know if i recognize christmas but it had a silver snowflake so that's a nice touch to a dollar 25 candle i like that did not expect to see these turntables Okay, these are from Bed Bath & Beyond from Simply Essential. I thought we were done seeing Simply Essential stuff. Last week, they gave us the four-compartment organizer, and I actually found more. And this truck, we got these small turntables. It's 9.1 inches in diameter, and this is going to be great because my mom has very small, skinny cabinets, and I was not able to share any of the other Simply Essential kitchen items with her. So I will be sharing with her if she wants. If she doesn't want to use this in her kitchen, she can use this. As you can see, they have oil. It looks like olive oil and a seasoning. You can set it out on the top of a kitchen island if you want to or your kitchen workspace. You don't have to put it inside a cabinet. You can use this in your glam area. If you really want to transform it, you could hit it with some spray paint and bling it out. Somebody said that, you know, they would bling it out and put it in their glam area. The possibilities for this are endless and this is a great 125 find. So I was happy to see these. Let me put it in there. Another thing that I was happy to see are these storage bins. Now they're calling this a refrigerator storage bin. I have a lot of storage bins in my refrigerator. I found them at Ross, you see them at Burlington, you see them at TJ Maxx Marshalls for decent prices. They are, of course, much better quality, much thicker, um, but you definitely can use this as a refrigerator storage bin. I keep the little jars like ketchup, mayo, um, if you have tartar sauce, like those little sauces, um, maybe something that you might refrigerate. I don't know if you keep your vanilla extract in the refrigerator once you open it. Lemon juice. Just those little things that you just want to keep together. You can pull it out, grab what you need, push it back. I, I love them and I have enough in my refrigerator. I even have some in my cabinet like oatmeal packets. You know, taking them out of those, those bulky boxes and have oatmeal packets. You could do hot cocoa packets. Your baking things. You know, all your baking. Like if you have sprinkles and other small things, tea bags, coffee, 
Um, I keep my bagged coffee in a bin. I can pull it out, take a bag, whatever. Again, inside the cabinets, in your bathroom. One of you in the comments when I did the walkthrough said you were going to put your, uh, your belts and your sunnies in here, your sunglasses. You don't have to just use this in the kitchen. So it's a nice size. I love clear. Anything clear, I love. So I got four, and I'm probably going to be using them upstairs in my glam area because I have enough bins and cabinets in my refrigerator already. So be on the lookout. I have seen these everywhere. This was a part of the items of the week. So I thought that was awesome. Again, they are a little bit on the thin side. If you're going to be putting things in it, I would hold it with both handles because it it is thinner. Okay, it's not as thick as, as the other refrigerator bins that you might see at a big box store, but $1.25, I'm not complaining. Uh, part of this walkthrough also will be what I picked up from Kingston, and I know you guys said when I showed you the large Kingston store walkthrough that you can't wait to see what I do with those three metal heart wreath forms. I did put it in my cart, but as I was looking at it, guys, it was painted pink and they had a cream color. Um, it was like, I don't want to say rusty, like in the corners, you know, as the, the, the V of the heart goes up, it just had a, a lot of imperfections. Now I could have covered that with greenery. You can cover that with twine, but I said, I have enough DIYs cause I still hadn't made my swag yet. And I just, you know, I think I'm finished with my Valentine's day decor. So I did leave those. I did actually end up putting those back. Um, but I can't find these anymore at my local stores. And if I'm lucky, I don't go to Food Lion often. I don't. I go there when I have to. Um, as much as I love to shop, as much as I love to eat, I hate the supermarket. I do. Um, so sometimes they have these at a really good price. Sometimes they don't. I Spy likes these. These are the low calories, zero sugar added body armor drinks. Um, I was looking at them in Walmart, and they're kind of pricey sometimes. So whenever I see them, I grab a couple because, you know, these are drinks that we would take to work. So I got two of those. Also in Kingston, I found these heart marshmallows. Now, one of those containers, that pink heart jar that we got from Dollar Tree, I'm probably going to put the marshmallows in. I'm not sure. Or you could put them in one of those bear jars um, if you're, you know, for your hot chocolate and stuff like that. I hope these taste good. These are strawberry and cream flavored. I wish they just were like marshmallows. I don't mind. <laughs> They're just so cute. I think they would be great on a hot cocoa bar. So I only got one bag. Now I had got two of these. They had the Hershey's Kisses in red and pink, but these items were in my car. Last night when I went to my car for my break, I said, I know I got to have some snacks or something sweet in here. And I took the red bag inside with me. So I have to replace it because I wanted to fill these in the red teddy bear jar. In the pink jar, I have uh, fairy lights. Um, and in the red or in the pink heart, I wasn't sure which one I was going to do. I wanted to fill them with some Hershey Kisses. So I'll figure it out. I'll replace the bag, y'all. Dollar Tree has more. And a Valentine's Day little gift bag that I'm working on for someone. I'm going to be putting this Diamond Heart Cosmetic Puff. Okay, so I did grab this. And also in that bag that I'm working on for this person, I am going to be giving them this brush. Okay, um, grab them when you can see them. I have not tried it yet, um, but Pookie's View said it was a really good powder brush. And I use a finishing powder as well. And, uh, yeah, so you can't beat it. It's beautiful. So this will be going in a Valentine's Day gift. And I got a second one after her review. I got a second one, and I might pick up a third one because we may never see these again. Maybe they'll bring them back next year, guys. Maybe for Mother's Day they'll give us a different variation because um, you definitely can use this for Mother's Day, a birthday gift. To me, this could be used all year round. Um, so, yeah. I hear the rain coming down a little harder out there. I did not know the spot headbands came in black, and these look like the best ones that they have given us, so um, I got two, and these look good quality, better quality than any of the ones that they have given us. Yeah, these look really, really nice. I might pick up another one in a different color. Again, this is something that can be given all year round, even though it has the hearts, the hearts could be all year round. It doesn't have to be Valentine's Day. Speaking of hearts, 
I, I was going to use my Valentine's Day wreath that I made for my back door. I believe it was last year or maybe it was the year before. I feel like I've, I've made it recently. I was going to put that on my front door, but on my front, I just want a, just a basic wreath. And I decided to go with the $5 Dollar Tree Plus heart wreath. If you want to take this to the next level, I do have some baby's breath that I could add in there. Um, I did actually buy this for an arrangement that I have on my dining room table. I just have this arrangement and I actually bought the baby's breath to mix in here. But that my stores have plenty of this. So, you know, I still can, you know, pick up another one tomorrow. And I just might add baby's breath to that. I might. Let me just put it here for a second. If you're into the truck, I'm sick of the truck. I'm sick of the gnomes. They're cute. I just, it's like they're everywhere. If they just would have brought them out the holidays, it would have given us something to look forward to. But they've incorporated it into all holidays like I'm incorporating Gingy into all holidays now because I just want to. So it's all what you like. But if you wanted to, you know, add a truck or add anything to these, it's just a great five and go start to a nice wreath. Me for my front, I don't go out my front door. Uh, I spy and Parker go out the front because the dog park is that way. I just think it's fine the way it is. They also had pink. I decided to go with classic red. And again, I might add the baby's breath to it or I might leave it as is. Okay? Just, you can. Now, what I noticed once I hung my swag on the door, which I absolutely love, I felt like last year I had window clings because my door, back door has glass to it and stuff like that. And it just added more decor. And so... I really feel they didn't give us much variety, at least in my stores. Um, in one store I was in, they had no window clings. So I really feel they didn't give us a lot of variety this year in window clings. And I'll see how I like it. But I thought these were cute. All we need is love. Love song. Little hearts. A ring that I could place around my um, swag. I'm not happy with the colors, guys. But these were the only two options. And this was the last one that they had. So I didn't want to leave it behind. But I wouldn't use everything. But I would use like, I like the bouquet of flowers. I like some of the sayings. Um, and then they had this one. In my kitchen window, I might, because my kitchen faces the back, I might add some window clings. I felt like that was missing. Um, so I did pick these up. This is the only options that I've seen besides gnomes. They did have a, uh, um, one that was full of gnomes and <laughs> it stayed there. In Kingston, I found this rat tail comb and this pick. Two for a dollar from Sleek. I had never seen this before. I think since I bought it, I've seen it in one of my local stores now. And I believe there might be different color options, but the pink and blue is fine for me. So if you're styling your hair, especially if you, you style wigs and stuff like that, uh, these are good. So I did pick them up. For I Spy, I did get him this brush just to have a spare brush. If anything, this is perfect for travel because you could fit it in a travel bag easier and i had got for chunk the next package i will be sending him is his valentine's day package um i got him the harry potter socks you get six is it six pair six pair of socks guys a dollar 25 harry potters there is a pink pair in there i mean he has a cousin um she's so cute and sometimes they call me and you know <laughs> Crank called me, terrorized me, they called me. Uh, sometimes she has called me. Um, yeah, so he could share the pink socks with her, okay? She's so cute. Um, that's that. These are always and forever will be repurchases for me as I continue to pack up. We still have not made it to storage yet, guys, but everything is over there in bins, ready to get out of my house. I hope that we're able to go, you know... I spy picked up over time tonight, which I wasn't happy about because of the weather and stuff like that. You know, these jobs, they know you're reliable. They don't want to pay overtime any other time. But if they know, you know, it's a storm coming, maybe some people may call out. Then that's when they want to give overtime. They knew not to ask me because it was going to be a hot hell no. Um, love my job, but I love my days off as well. I need that. 
but anyway um these will forever be and i was thinking about you get two large bags in this size because i'm doing these monthly wows consecutively um you know these give monthly giveaways as i'm shopping i can keep all of the monthly wow things in uh this bag and just so it's accessible because i need to figure out where did i put the stuff that i was collecting i know it's here i probably put it somewhere but i want to put it all together y'all um and keep it all together okay so this is two large size bags let me just open it up and show you what the large ones look like i've showed you the extra large ones all the time they're great for seasonal decor storage i actually put my uh christmas candy cane wreath in an extra large one so this is a nice size guys okay and I could, as I'm collecting things, and you know, you could hang it in a closet, you know, keep it out of the way. As I'm collecting things for the monthly wow, boom, 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 fill it up. And you can use these for other things, okay, um, as well. So this is the extra large one. You see her holding it up. It's great. They're great. And I've, I've shared that with you guys many times how I feel about them. And Kingston, and these are now at my local store. I got the stackable eggs from the Dollar Tree Plus section for $5. This is new this year. I chose to go with the tri-colored ones. They did have this like cream colored one that you could spray paint. <coughs> Excuse me. That you can spray paint. But I chose to go with this one with the pastel colors. Um, you could store the indoors. You could use these if you don't want to put them outside or if you want to decorate inside depending how your foyer is, your entryway. The possibilities are endless. There's always spray paint. You can really go high in with these. Spray paint some eggs gold, the golden egg. You can do a lot with these. So I did only get one. Maybe I might pick up two from dealing with these because I had the stackable pumpkins, guys. You need to put something heavy. Now, you know that horrible pasta sauce that Dollar Tree gave us. I thought it was horrible from Valetti's. Is it Valetti's? Horrible. I bought four jars of it. That's why with this new pasta sauce, I only bought one because I just, I don't have a dollar twenty-five to waste. A dollar twenty-five I waste is a dollar twenty-five I could buy and spend on something else. Okay, your girl's not rich. I'm a working girl. Okay, but I um, you have to put something to weigh these down. We get a lot of wind here. You've heard me say that many times. You don't know when I don't use anything to weigh these down. I come home and my pumpkin is. I see my pumpkins all over the place. Okay, I've had to retrieve my pumpkins many times. So I have learned that you have to put something inside. Now, these are hollow, but there's one of them that you could sit something inside just to kind of, you know, weigh them down so the wind won't take them away, okay? But I just think these are cute, and I love the, 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 the detail on them. They could have just gave us just regular plain egg, you know, flat eggs. I love the diamond detail. Love it. Now, my favorite find. Something I did not think that I would find near me. Okay? And when I went on the road to Rocky Mount, I was looking for these. And then I seen Pookie's view, and she said that these would work better in a smaller space. You know, I, me using them in this area, even my kitchen, it's just like, it's just not happening. Okay? But she said in a smaller space, these would work well. Oh Guys, I'm so in love. And I went back and made a second purchase. These are the iFly Smart Candles. Okay? I did not think that these would come my way. And they only came to one of my local stores. And when I've seen these on hauls, they had them on the shelf. Well, this particular store had them in the display box okay and it was on the floor and if i did not look down i would have easily passed it and this display was loaded it had a lot of candles on it it even has a scratch and sniff it explains which candles are in which box so you don't have to open them but you know i had to do a sneak sniff on the ones i was getting look at these look at these i was just like what Come through, Dollar Tree. Come through. Now, let me explain to you the four different ones. So these are iFly Smart Candles. A lot of people are saying that these come from Walmart, okay? 
And the one that I didn't think would be my favorite, and it's only not taking away from the destination. I would love to travel here, but just the scents, okay? And on the box, it gives you the notes, okay? It gives you, it's just beautiful packaging, and they're in these metal tins. So this is Greek Getaway, my fave. Includes two candles, 100% cotton wick, palm wax blend, approximately 12 hours of fragrance per candle, okay? A burn within sight, it gives you the warning and stuff like that. So this is my Kono Morning, light and fluffy vanilla, enriched with notes of honey. Then there is Santora Sunset, Oof, it smells so good. Um, cool Mediterranean ocean breeze with notes of sandalwood. Oh my God, oh my God. I'm excited about these guys and I have since went back and nobody was buying any I mean as of yesterday when I went back it that display was still pretty full and I, I did pick up more so this is oh it smells so good I could take a bath in this Santora sunset the one I told you I liked look at the color of the wax cute metal jar perfect for a merit tray in your bathroom these are gonna be for my glam area Oh my God, aromatherapy. Mm, even this one, this is the first one. This is Mykonos Morning. Look at the wax. And there's a little protective plastic sheet that comes in here. You know your girl is sharing with you. You know your girl is gonna be sharing these. And I'm thinking about spreading them out on a couple of monthly wows. Just like I just remembered that I promised you guys last month, I had three palettes. From those palettes that we had, I gave one in the monthly wow. Tammy won uh, one of them. So I have two more palettes. So I have to remember to put the palettes <laughs> in here so you get them. Because instead of giving them to one person, I know you guys like to share. We'll spread them out. And I think I'm going to go back tomorrow. And hopefully there's more. I'm pretty sure that display came with a lot of candles. And we'll spread them out, you know, so some of you will get a chance to experience these. So that's the Greek getaway. This is European Escape. And I will say out of all of them, I think this is my least fit in one of them. The high tea, it's elegant and refined scent of British morning tea. It does not smell bad. It smells like tea. But the French vanilla that comes in here luxurious vanilla aroma from the heart of france and that's one of mine i would love to go to paris and the packaging guys get into the packaging of these guys get into the packaging then we have miami moments and miami moments comes with sunshine orange and watermelon wonder ooh, 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 ooh. the watermelon wonder juicy watermelon with notes of lemon zest and freshly picked strawberries Sunshine orange is fresh Florida oranges with notes of tangy lemon and guava. Okay. But the Greek escape is by far my favorite. Um, they all smell good though. And then I smell them through the packaging guys. <laughs> so this is tropical sunset and it's pineapple punch, pineapple juice enhanced with vanilla and coconut milk and Island daiquiri ripe berries with notes of fresh lime. I have to take these out. I have to take these out. Hope you don't mind. Again, these only went to one of my locations. Look at the packaging. Okay, I fly smart. It's on all of them. This is Island Daiquiri. Mm. I feel like I'm on vacation. These are such a good theme, guys. Because if you can't travel, you can't get somewhere. And this is, what did I say? Okay. That was Island Daiquiri. This is Pineapple Punch. Oh, my God. <laughs> These smell so good, and I am not exaggerating. Oh, it takes you there. It takes you there. Oh, I need a vacation, okay? It takes you there. So be on the lookout for these guys. I hope, I hope that these make it your way, but just know that your girl is going back tomorrow. I already went back and I already purchased me another Greek escape and I had got one for the monthly. Wow, I should be telling you these things. But I am 
I'm going to go back tomorrow. And this way I can spread them out. Okay, so all of you will get a chance. Most of, if you win. Uh, let me just say that. I wish I could send you all one. I wish I could. I wish I had the money to send you all one. Um, you get a candle set. You get a candle set. You get a candle set. Unfortunately, your girl is not rich. And I have a shopping addiction. So, um, yeah. So, be on the lookout for these. And real quick, I went to Walmart this morning, pending weather, and also I'm having a lot of fun with my Ninja products. Um, I was able to take back the plain Ninja Sizzle Grill that I Spy got me for Christmas, and I purchased from Target the one with the griddle plate plus the grill. So I'm going to be doing my own hibachi in here because... Um, you know, when you go out to eat, you know, you're not guaranteed good service and you're not guaranteed good food anymore. It, it's just the staffing, it's just, you're not. And if you go out to eat a lot like I do, you see the change. You see the changes, right? So anyway, um, I went to Walmart this morning because I want to make that Ninja Crock-Pot does so many things and it bakes. So it's also a Dutch oven. You could lift it up and put it into the oven up to 500 degrees. Ninja, sponsor your girl. Send me something. Anyway... Um, I want to do barbecue ribs. I'm in the mood for some ribs, some collard greens, some macaroni and cheese, some cornbread, just freaking fat girl fantasies. Okay. I'm thinking of all these things that I can cook in this ninja. So I went to Walmart and, um, I got some ribs. I got my ingredients that I want to make, right? Well, I stopped in their Valentine's day section and Walmart, just like Target is giving us things for under a dollar. Look at these heart picks. They were 50 cents, guys, 50 cents each. Now, you know, I bought one the other day from Dollar Tree. It should have been in this haul. It's just a pink one, okay? Um, matter of fact, I might pause and go get it for you. It was $1.25. I love the detail that they did and gave us for 50 cents. So I got two of these because I love my swag, but I think it needs a little pop or something, okay? Then... For 98 cents, guys, look at these picks, 98 cents, and you can puff these out. You're not just going to leave it flat like this. You're going to fan this out, all right? This is going to take my swag to the next level, and it's up to you how you want to fan it out. 98 cents, guys, right? But not you're getting the clip. If you want to stick this in your tree, even if you're just doing the Dollar Tree pink tree, look how cute this is with the pom-poms. 98 cents. I'm like late to the party. They heart, they only had three left. I bought two. And here it is unfanned. Okay? Happy. Then this bag of four heart picks. You can put an arrangement. Um, if you're making a wreath as well. Four glitter heart picks. 98 cents. Yeah, you don't believe me? 98 cents. These metal tag signs were $1.24. They're smart. <laughs> They're giving it to you one penny cheaper than Dollar Tree. Um, but I thought these were so cute. I could hang these in my tree. You could Again, if you're doing a wreath, if you're doing anything, if you're doing a Valentine's Day tree, you can hang this up. So this says you are love, you plus me. Now let me pause and go get you, show you this $1.25 heart pick I got from Dollar Tree. So this was from Dollar Tree, right? <clears throat> I mean... 50 cents, $1.25. They look great together, but I think this is, is a good deal. Yes, this is bigger, but I just love the detail. I love the detail. And if you didn't see my video yesterday, check out how I made it. I brought it inside because of the rain, but I'm an absolute love of my pink Valentine's Day swag. And I think, sit up, baby. Make the people think you're getting abused. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, but I love it, guys. I really, really love it. Thank you guys for showing me grace on my bow. Again, my bows, you just got to fake it till you make it. Fake it till you make it. So I thought these pom-poms, I don't want to do too much, but I just think it will add. Let me pause and show you what, what I want to do. All right, guys, you see how I added the picks to the side? Uh, I added the hearts. It's not secured down. I could definitely play around with these. But I just think it just elevates it a little bit. 
I gotta figure out how to sit her head up upright so she's not like look like she's leaning down. I just absolutely love this. I really do. I think it's a nice twist and change from a traditional wreath, you know. But I'll figure it out, guys. But I just wanted to show you. I got it to add to. And look at the gingers. They look so cute. But, yeah, I just think I like it. I just think it takes it to the next level. I really love how this came out. And it's so easy to use the Dollar Tree trees to make a swag. Not just for Valentine's Day, any holiday. I might do one for fall. You know, just a, a twist on a traditional wreath. Instead of doing traditional wreaths, I might make a fall swag because I've seen some beautiful ones. I've seen some beautiful ones on Pinterest and, um, you know, other DIY sites. But thanks for rocking with your girl. If you're new, subscribe. I'd love to have you. For my returning subscribers, thanks for coming back. Stay safe. I'll see you in the next video. Take care. Bye-bye.